Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Dale Carnegie. Tweet it. I just received a kind of a gut-wrenching email from one of my fans, and it's a really serious topic because I've had people in my family deal with this depression and the sense of no hope. Well, today, we're gonna give you a little bit of hope, FitLifer. This individual wrote in and they said, Drew, I've tried everything and I feel like there's no hope. I have less than $100 in my bank, I'm 50 pounds overweight, and I have no food in the fridge. Sometimes I feel like killing myself. Let me tell you, life is a struggle. Life will throw curveballs at you. Life will humble you. It will attempt to break you down. And sometimes, just when you think the sun is starting to come out or your things are starting to look up, life will smack you back down with ruthless indifference. Now, the quicker you understand this fit lifer, the faster you'll be able to bounce back. And right now, you're most likely in the fight or flight state. It's hard to even think about survival when you're in this zone. You see, this zone is conducive to creating abundance. So what is the fastest way out of this situation? In the next three minutes, I'm gonna share with you three tools that are gonna bring you out of this zone and into a much higher vibrational alignment with who you really are. Number one is to be grateful. Number two, volunteering. And number three, exercise. So let's talk about number one. Getting grateful actually produces oxytocin in your brain. And you may be thinking, what is oxytocin? Oxytocin is like the love drug. You eat a lot of chocolate you start to feel all warm and fuzzy. It's this hormone that's released and it tells you that everything is right. Dr. Paul Zak has determined that the human brain naturally produces oxytocin during breastfeeding, snuggling, hugs, holding hands, partner dancing, body work, prayer, even gratitude. An easy way to express gratitude daily is to simply write someone a note or call them up or open a door for them. I was told once that the easiest way to bring more abundance in your life, even if you have $5 in your pocket, $5, right? Is to go out on the streets and give away $5 because it's in that giving that's going to release you from feeling sorry for yourself, from feeling like you can't make enough money to pay your rent or whatever the situation may be. So start thinking about giving more and getting grateful for what you already have. Number two is to volunteer. The reason we get so down on ourselves is because we're too busy in our own inner worlds. We get so wrapped up in the muddling of the day that we forget about everyone else. If you wanna change your situation, start doing stuff for others. Volunteer for others. I mean, you will never run out of things to do for other people. You'll start to realize that it's not about you. Life wasn't, never meant about you. You'll finally realize that it really isn't that bad. You'll start to realize that there's hope after all, and you'll finally realize that you can transcend whatever hard situation you're going through. Number three is to move your body. Everyone gets the blues now and then, and some people are a little moodier than others. But depression is an entirely different scenario. You know, I've been down in the dumps before. There's been mornings where I don't even feel like waking up in the morning. But depression is the leading cause of disability in the United States. I mean, to think that depression can disable people. Um, we're dealing with an epidemic here, you guys. You know, the obesity epidemic is one thing that we're, you know, fighting to help people realize to make healthier choices. But uh, this whole depression thing, we, we gotta move past this. So an easy way that I love to do is to encourage my clients to set a physical goal. Anytime you set a physical goal, you know, when you are depressed, sometimes you don't have the best image of yourself. You look in the mirror, you say defeating thoughts, you sabotage yourself in everything that you do, which lowers your depression even more. And you start to feel worthless. A quick way out of that is to start setting short-term goals. Maybe it's a long-term goal, running a 10K. Once you start hitting those goals, the motivation's gonna set in. You're gonna start to feel like a new person. Opportunities, relationships, and different things are gonna start opening up in your life when you start doing this. So step number one was to get grateful. Number two is to volunteer. And number three is to move your body. Now, I never claim to have all the answers. So if you're reading this and you are the person that wrote this in to me, I want you to know that we do have a strong community, that we get people writing in all the time that have been diagnosed with life-threatening terminal diseases uh, and they feel like there's no hope. But being in this community gives them something to hold on to. If you're struggling with anything whatsoever, Fit Lifer, turn to the community around you, the support system, get grateful for them, and forward this to anybody that needs help. All right, so if you really feel like you're down in the dumps, you're depressed, you really wanna kill yourself, then I encourage you to see a psychologist 
to go see a priest, a pastor, talk to your mom, your dad, a coach, you know, somebody that can help you through this. Because at the end of the day, we really are in this together. And I want you to know that. Remember, life was never meant to be a struggle. And once you start to see all of these illusions creep up on you, you'll start to be able to deal with them that much quicker fit lifer. So you may not believe in yourself right now, but guess what? I've been there and I believe in you. Keep pushing forward, keep believing, keep smiling, keep singing, and keep reaching for the stars, Fit Lifer. I know you got this. So the winner of this week's book, The Four Purposes in the Life by Dan Millman, is going out to Shelly Hubbard. Congratulations, Shelly. The book's going out to you. To win the book next week, all you gotta do is leave a comment below this video, leave a video response, and let us know how this video made an impact on you or somebody in your life. I'm Drew Canoli. Remember, we're in this together, and I'll see you next week.